When it comes to praying, for example, there are words recorded in the prayer book, in the Siddur. These are the words you're supposed to say in the morning. These are the words you're supposed to say when you've finished eating bread. These are the words you're supposed to say in the, in the afternoon. This you say in the evening. This you say before you go to sleep. This you say when you wake up. Words that are recorded, that are not your own, they're in Hebrew. Hebrew may not be your language. And yet this is the way we pray to God. Shouldn't we use our own words? Shouldn't every day's prayer be somewhat different than the day before? If the prayer expresses me, then, then the prayer should be different every day. And it should be in my language, and it should be my words. It also should be whenever I feel compelled to pray, not at a regular time. But there's another aspect to the prayers. They, they're not merely uh, there to express my needs, my feelings, my grief, or my joys. There are times like a wife will say to a husband, um, you, you never say I love you. And the husband might say, you know I love you. I don't have to say it. And the wife says, yeah, but I, I'd like to hear you say it. I'd like to hear you say, I love you. And the husband thinks that's really silly. I take care of you. I'm loyal to you. I work hard. I, you know I love you. The wife insists. I want to hear you say it. Say the words, I love you. And if she persists long enough, he will eventually do her the favor and say, fine. <laughs> All right. You want me to say it? You want to hear the words? Okay, I love you. Fine, you happy? I said it. There. Sometimes we pray that way too. The words written in the Siddur are not words we need to say to God. These are the words God wants to hear from us. These words work for Him. On occasion they work for us too. But for that we need to make a certain effort. But even when we're not making that effort and the words are not working for us, they work for him. These are the words God wants to hear from us in the morning. These are the words God wants to hear from us at night. These are the words God wants to hear from us at the end of a meal. When we say those words, we're saying what he wants to hear. That's called a garment. And in this case, the garment connects us to the other, as in any relationship, far more than our internal feelings because the internal feelings describe where I'm at it tells you wh what I am but it doesn't connect me to someone else the garments in a relationship are in in an infinite and awesome way deeper and more significant than the soul or the soul powers that they express so when we when we say the words of the prayers when we say the words of the Torah, we're actually saying his words. And therefore, even if we don't understand the Hebrew 100%, they, these words are precious to him. And even if we're not in the mood every day, twice a day, three times a day, to be expressing those words, the words mean something to him. And for that alone, we should say the words carefully. We should say the words with respect, not mumble them like the husband who says, fine, I said them. If they're significant to the other, if they're significant to your wife, if they're significant to God, if they're significant to your friend, then even though they're not your words, they are precious words. They're important words. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal, it's questions and answers, it's conversation. It's really relaxed, it's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program, there's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, 
and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it, just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.